So Google just dropped the uh, February 2023 product review update and there's a lot that Google is not talking about uh, with this update, but I've noticed recently, even though the update has only been out for 24 hours and you would assume that this update would only hit uh, affiliate sites or sites that have product reviews and then have a, an affiliate link to maybe a, maybe a, the manufacturer or the brand that sells the product, but you would be wrong because Google is not only hitting product review sites with this update, and this is probably the first place where you have heard this, but there are a whole other list of websites that are being hit by this update, or if they have not been hit yet, they will be hit. Um, so I'll go ahead and discuss this in this video. We'll also take a look at what update is all about and uh, what you can do to save yourself, whether you're a product you review site owner, or if you're a brand, or if you're anyone else that, that thinks they've been hit by this update. So, uh, before I do, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you're looking for someone to consult with on your SEO, or if you're looking for an SEO service, just click on the link in the description, fill out the form, and I will get in touch with you. Google renounced this uh, exactly 24 hours before I've made this video. But before the official announcement, I was seeing many of my test websites and many of the, the websites for my clients seeing this uh, up and down kind of uh, movement in terms of their traffic and in terms of their impressions. And so that led me to believe that there was something going on. But um, upon closer inspection and once Google had unrolled or announced its uh, product review update, once, once I started to dig into this 24 hours ago when it was announced, I could see that A, that Google had said that this was for multiple languages. So that made a list of these languages. You can take a look at the screenshot. And also Google had said that this was going to be a, uh, a quality update. And more importantly, this is going to, like in my opinion, this is not what Google is saying, is that it's going to hit websites, product review websites, that had gone under the radar with the previous update. Now, Google do, does this every time. And so with the previous update, Google had said that this is gonna be hitting all of those websites that were going under the radar previously. But as with all of Google's updates, uh, not only are those websites penalized that Google talks about. So you would say uh, product review sites or sites that are uh, reviewing or affiliate sites even. Uh, and, and not only products, but uh, I would say services. So the even websites that review services would be hit, but that's not always the case. So there are three kinds of websites that Google is, is hitting right now. So it's hitting affiliate sites, uh, whether you review products, whether you review services. Uh, it's also hitting websites that offer these services. So if you're a lawyer or you're a doctor or you're a some other kind of uh, professional and you have a website, there's a high probability that this product review update is going to hit you as well. But the question is, why is that the case? Why, why is Google not telling us this? Well, because Google, Google's algorithm can't tell the difference between a product you re review site specifically and a service site. So if your service life site uh, looks a lot like a product review site. So if you have a list of services and then you have reviews for every service and it looks like a lot like a product review site, there's a high probability it's going to be hit. So uh, the third type of, type of website that's going to be hit is uh, websites that are brands. So if you're a brand, if you're some kind of, uh, you're selling clothing online or if you're even if you're not selling it and you're just a brand and you just have pictures of clothes or shoes or um, cameras or whatever and you you there, there are really no reviews per se the people are reviewing the site but you've got customer reviews and you've got products on there uh, and Google sees those products and the pictures of those products it's just being templates what that means is that if I buy an iPhone 13, my iPhone 13 looks like every other iPhone 13. And so if I'm selling an iPhone 13 and I put this image of an iPhone 13, that looks like any other image of an iPhone 13 on my website that's, that is selling an iPhone 13, even though it may be an e-commerce site, even though it may be a brand site, uh, Google is going to see that as being a stock image, as being an image that adds no value, 
And based on that, and based on a few other metrics as well, Google is going to state that this is going to be, Google's algorithm is going to see this is probably a product review site or it falls into the category of something similar. And so right off the bat, you're going to lose traffic. In some cases, I've uh, some of my test websites have been de-indexed. So, and they were not product review sites. They were not reviewing any products. They just had a list of stuff on the website, like an e-commerce store. And you're going to see that decline in traffic. Now, if you're not seeing it now, you might see it moving forward. So again, you know, as we're always, Google doesn't really tell us what they're doing, but that's why you guys come to someone like me. Glenn Gabe, and this is a tweet from him, is a huge heads up. And this makes uh, sense given all of the crazy volatility we've seen since 126 for product review sites. Stay tuned. So again, I'm already seeing uh, people coming to me saying that, you know, they're non-product review sites have been it. And um, language, there are various languages that are being, uh, various language websites that are being hit apart from English. But for those languages, it's going to take time for the update to hit. So if your website is in Arabic, like for some of my clients um, who have Arabic only websites, they will not see a hit right away. Um, it will take time because uh, Google's algorithm works that way, at least for now. Um, and so for now, they're safe. But uh, so there are a few things that you can do to not get hit by this update if you have not already been hit or if you've been hit or if you think you've been hit. And I'm going to talk about how you how to tell if you have been hit by a product review update in an upcoming video or a, any other Google algorithm update in an upcoming video. But for now, um, the three things that you should do to prepare yourself for this update if you've not been hit or if you've been hit is number first is make sure that your images have proper alt tags. So unique alt tags that don't, just don't write, you know, this is an iPhone 13, 256 MB GB of RAM or whatever. Don't do that. Um, have an image of yourself holding an iPhone 13. Have an image of someone that you know that isn't on a stock photo uh, app uh, holding the iPhone 13 and have an image of that. So it should be a perfectly unique image. And the other way to confirm this is like Google's Google image search your image to make sure that your exact image is not on Google already. So make sure it's unique. You can probably change the background or you know do, do something, but just don't make it a generic image. So the image should add quality. And this is what I'm trying to say here. Um, the second thing you'd want to do is if you have uh, user reviews on your website, uh, it should be stated that these are user reviews from genuine users and probably have a link back to the user's profile or the user's Google profile, Google's LinkedIn profile, users, you know, just somehow for someone for Google to know that this is a real review by a user and not you putting the review on your site yourself. So that's the second thing. The third thing you'd want to do is that you want to make sure is your site is verified. And by, by verified, I mean is that your website should have a link to your LinkedIn page where your expertise are stated. Um, you'll, it should have a link to maybe a personal blog. And I, this is something I'll talk about in a future video is why having a personal blog for affiliate marketers is so important. And linking to them is so important. But for now, I'm just going to tell you, you, have, you need to have a link to a personal blog. Um, to create that credibility and about us page that's that goes into a little bit of detail about the company and how you review the products and so if you're a product review site don't try to hide it I mean be open about it but talk about how you review the products and then if you have the review for each review talk about how the review was evaluated how you evaluated the product because that will help that build that credibility with Google that Google wants to see quite frankly um, and it's also at war with uh, websites that have product reviews on them. So, so make sure that you follow these directions. Um, I hope you guys are not hit, but this is just to prepare you guys. And if I have more information, I'll make another video. So for now, the Google February 2023 product review update is live. It'll be rolling out for the next couple of weeks. So if you have a question, uh, feel, feel free to leave a comment in leave a comment. And if you uh, want to see a video or you're interested in seeing a video, also leave a comment. And if you're looking for someone to do SEO, again, there's a link in the description. Like and subscribe as always, as that helps with the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next video.